glad that you are here and that you clicked on this video. And as you can see by the title, the topic is that I ate my placenta raw. So before you all who are the skeptics here go ahead and get grossed out, please know that I froze my placenta. Well, actually my sweet husband did because I was recovering from giving birth. <laughs> and uh, we blended it, and by we, I, I mean he. Yeah, he definitely did it. He was really awesome that way. He blended it up for me into a smoothie. I'm gonna talk about sort of what uh, led me to this decision and how it made me feel. I will definitely talk to you about recipes and you guys can share your experiences down below in the comments if you have one. I know a lot of people who have encapsulated their placenta and sort of taken it like pills, so I know that that is another option as well and it actually kind of draws it out a little bit longer, so it really depends on what works for you. So when I announced that I was going to be eating my placenta, I got so many crazy reactions from people. Some of my friends said they were not gonna have any smoothies or like spaghetti sauce or steak or whatever over at our house anymore because they were afraid that I would try to feed them placenta, which in all honesty, like anybody who would try it, like I wanted them to try it. Like I didn't, I didn't want to be the only one trying it, you know? I wanted company. I wanted to know what everybody else thought, right? I would try to get other people to try it. I didn't get very many takers. I think Brian actually accidentally tried it like some flew in his mouth and he was making a smoothie. Oh man, if we would have only been vlogging back then, that would have been awesome. That would have been the best vlog ever. But anyways, I I digress but honestly like a lot of people were like well why do you want to do that <laughs> like it just isn't something that a lot of people do I think it's kind of gaining momentum these days but in let's see it was 2015 when Harrison was born it was still kind of like a thing that maybe you did maybe you didn't I don't know and the research online is kind of like anecdotal right it's mostly stories like this where moms talk about their experience or I don't know I kind of feel like there's a lot of negative press around eating your placenta and a lot of news reports and things that say it actually has no known benefit. So during my first pregnancy, clearly, if you don't know my first pregnancy story and my first birth story, I will link it up there for you. Uh, but that was a interesting time in my life and I literally knew nothing about placenta. So during my first birth, I did not consume my placenta. But when I got pregnant with Harrison, Brian and I had kind of transitioned to a more healthful lifestyle and I had been talking with some of my mama friends who I guess you could consider us like crunchy, like kind of hippie folks, I guess. We were all pregnant at the same time and we were all discussing like eating our placentas and like the benefits and that kind of thing. I wanted to explore it because after my first delivery, I definitely suffered at least postpartum anxiety, if not postpartum depression, and it went untreated for a long time. I will actually do like a full story time or like an explanation of postpartum depression and anxiety. If you guys are interested in that, just leave those comments down below and I can make that video for you. We were researching it and I was researching it because I had heard a lot of things that consuming your placenta really helps with mood and just kind of like recovery after birth and it also helps from what I had heard with your milk supply and that kind of thing and because I didn't really know how my second pregnancy was going to go and delivery and all of that I wanted to do as many like preventative things as I could and honestly like even if the placenta had not done anything I would have probably still taken it there could be benefits and if there could be benefits and it's not like harmful to you like why not put it in your body you know like I just I don't see really the argument against it other than the people who are squeamish and like that's your personal preference now for the good part I know you guys are all wondering did it work so what I had researched is that ingesting a raw piece of your placenta hours after birth can really boost your energy, milk supply, and your mood and help you just recover much quicker. So I decided to give it a go. We stayed 24 hours in the hospital, which was awesome. Like I don't think I was expecting to get out of the hospital that quick. So as soon as we got home within those first 24 hours of Harrison's life, I actually had my first placenta smoothie. And I will actually go ahead and link down below the recipe that that we used and honestly like I know that a lot of you are probably wondering what did it taste like it tasted like a berry banana smoothie I didn't get any like chunks or slimy anything in my mouth and honestly like I was kind of concerned about that like I was a little bit skeptical I knew that I could work past it because I'm not like a huge texture person like I can usually work past most things 
but I honestly was a little bit concerned if there was going to be like a weird aftertaste or like if it was going to taste like steak blended up with berries and a banana. I don't know what I was expecting, but honestly it tastes like nothing. I think that my biggest concern came from because I was a second time mom and I knew what placenta and afterbirth smelled like. And I'm not saying that it's like a bad smell, but it's definitely a smell. Like if you have had a baby, there is a definite, definite smell in the room after you have had a baby. And it's just kind of like, I don't know, like it reminds me of life almost, but it's almost kind of like a coppery smell, if you can imagine that. Like that's what it has been for me. So I was concerned about what it would taste like because I knew what the room smelled like after I had had my first daughter. But honestly, it tasted like a smoothie. And we made them several different ways. Like we made some that were berry banana, we made some that were like berry chocolate, and they all honestly just tasted like delicious smoothies. Now, a lot of you are probably also wondering like did it help with things clearly I'm not like a doctor or anything like that but in my personal opinion this recovery from having Harrison was amazing and after I had that first placenta smoothie I felt like I was on top of the world like I was ready to like get up and go and I was expecting after I had a baby to want to just lay on the couch and like sit around but honestly no I wanted to get up and get back to life honestly when Harrison was three days old I I wanted to get out of the house and take Delilah back to school. It had been our plan for Brian to take her to school while I recovered, but on the third day I was like, dude, I want to go, I want to get out of the house, and I just want to do things. So I did. I actually took Delilah to school when uh, Harrison was three days old. I took him with me um, and kept him close to me in the carrier, but uh, it, it was it was awesome. Like I felt on top of the world. I also had no tearing this time and I did have a big like third degree tear with Delilah. Ooh, that was awful. So that could have contributed to my possible recovery benefits, but honestly like I I just felt amazing. I didn't have any sadness. I didn't have any feelings of like not wanting to be near my baby. I wanted to be with him. I was so in love with him from the moment he was born. And I just, I don't know. I feel like the placenta smoothie really helped. I feel like it balanced my mood. I noticed that after I had a smoothie also, like my boobs were just like, like full of milk. Like it was crazy. And I actually kind of had a bit of an oversupply at first, which was actually a little bit of a problem for Harrison because he was just a little guy. He was only five pounds, 12 ounces when he was born. And like my milk would come out really fast. So not, not only did I have an oversupply, but I also had a really overactive letdown. And that, ten that could be a little bit of a problem for him. So if you're not looking for like a super oversupply, you might want to do like a half of a dose or half of a piece of the placenta smoothie or maybe only drink half of it. Just whatever is going to work best for your body. Uh, our bodies are all different as we all know. So I know that there are plenty of people who are like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Like all the skeptics who are watching this and who are like probably scrunching up their faces and their noses. But uh, for me, like I can't deny the benefits of the placenta smoothie and I would definitely do it again. I have also heard that you can get a tincture of your placenta, like you can have it kind of made into like, I don't know, an alcohol form and then you can get a tincture of that. I would definitely try that next time and I might even encapsulate some of it so that I can have it for a longer period of time. I did notice a little bit of a mood drop after I wasn't having smoothies anymore. I think I had them for like six weeks. Uh, so I did notice a little bit of a mood drop. It wasn't anything like crazy or substantial for me, but it definitely happened. And I did notice that my supply went down just a little bit as well. And for me, there were some definite benefits for eating your placenta raw. And I hope that you guys are all brave enough to try it if you are pregnant. Uh, it is definitely not for everyone, so if you are squeamish, there is like blood and it does look kind of like, it kind of looks like guts, like if you've ever seen a picture of a placenta. I'll link some down below if you want to check out what they look like if you're pregnant. But that's just kind of what it looks like and that would be the only thing. But once it's in the smoothie, honestly, there's no smell, there's no taste, it just tastes like a smoothie, like it's, it's good. Uh, <laughs> so I will again link the um, placenta smoothie recipe that I used down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you want more content like this on pregnancy, or like kid stuff, you know, I do a lot of that. <laughs> Feel free to hit that red subscribe button below. I would love to have you with us. If you are one of my current subscribers, thank you so, so much for being here. I have noticed that there have been so many of you guys joining us in the last few days and it is just blowing my mind. And by the way, you guys have fun today.